I always like to find ways to save money, especially when it comes to our essentials. So in this video, I'm going to go through five ways that I do to save some money. So let's get started with the first one. So when it comes to TV streaming apps, what I tend to do is not subscribe to all of them. I just find it a little bit pointless having four different TV streaming apps when you're kind of just waiting for movies and shows to come out. So instead, I find it's just a better way just to subscribe to single one, watch as many movies and TV shows there are. And then once I get a little bit bored of it, that's when I cancel and I switch over to another. And also the benefit of that is from time to time, these streaming apps send free trials for one month free, two months free, or even like a discounted rate. And and that's what I take advantage of every time. Another way I save money is on my mobile phone bill. So I'm located in Australia and previously I was on the Optus network. So Telstra and Optus are the two biggest providers. And I was on the Optus network and I was paying about $55 per month. And that's just for me, there's my wife as well. So together we were paying 110 a month. Then I thought, why not just look at the smaller tier network providers who actually piggyback off the larger providers. They use their networks anyway. So your mobile reception is essentially gonna be exactly the same. The only part it differs is the customer service. So what I tend to do is go on to product review site, pick the one with the best reviews. And through this method, I was able to lower my monthly bill from $55 to $16.80, especially because it doubles up because my wife is also on that plan. So it's actually worth shopping around. I've not really had any issues with these lower tier providers. The customer service has been great. The reception has been exactly the same. So the only difference is I'm actually just saving more money. When it comes to car insurance, which can be pretty costly, I actually like to shop around and I tend to change it every year or two because I just don't see the point in sticking to one and paying an increased premium every single year. So I go to review sites and I select the ones with the best rates because most of the time you don't actually end up using them for a number of years. It's only when an incident happens that you need to call them. And also with the insurance provider, I tend to keep my excess as high as possible because that just means your premium lowers. So when it comes to things like shampoo, conditioner, hand wash, toilet cleaner, laundry liquid or dishwashing liquid, I prefer buying larger size bottles or refill packs. I just don't see the point in paying so much for a small quantity when you can get double the amount for a much cheaper price. So that's just a very simple tip, but I thought it's worth mentioning because I think a lot of people are in the routine of just buying what they usually do, which is exactly what I used to do. But now I just like to save a little bit here and there. Now when it comes to clothes shopping, which I actually really enjoy, I tend to only buy when there's a sale because I live in Australia and there seems to be a sale every two or three weeks, whether it's end of season sale, start of season sale, mid season sale, Christmas, stop take sales, like there's always a sale. So I don't see the point in buying anything full price. And also thrift stores are another great way of saving money where there's damaged or faulty items that can have just a little bit of makeup on it. And it's actually quite easy to wash out. For example, I bought a top the other day, but just because it had a little bit of a lipstick stain, I put some stain removal on it, gave it a wash, and it came out straight away. And I ended up only paying $5 for it. Just let me know in the comments if this kind of stuff interests you, and I'll make some more videos. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.